This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is production resource tools, PRTs. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see uh, what are PRTs. It's great production resource tools. So we basically we will understand what are PRTs. Use of PRTs in routings. All these PRTs will be used in routing and subsequently in production orders. We'll cover that. And different PRT categories. What are the types of PRT categories available in the system? So these are the topics we'll be covering in the PRTs. Okay. So first we'll start with PRT, PRT overview. Okay. So basically here we will understand uh, what what are PRTs, why they are used, what is their significance. Those things we will understand. Okay. So production resource tools. Production resource tools are movable objects required for production but are not consumed. So these PRTs basically they are used in production but they are not consumed. So normal materials, normal raw materials, packing materials, what happens during the production you consume them. But these PRTs, PRTs you will not consume them. You use them but you will not consume. Okay. A PRT may be needed in order to carry out an operation and therefore must be assigned to that operation. So basically to carry out an operation, carry out a production operation, these PRTs are required. So they are assigned to the operation. This I will show it in the system. Production resource tools are movable operating resources that are required to perform an activity and can be used repeatedly. So basically these PRTs are used repeatedly. Uh, let's say you want to use you use PRT in a order. Once that order is completed, once that production order, production activity is completed, same PRT you will be using for another order, another production order of the same product, or another production order of a different product, you can use it. So examples are like for example, the PRTs includes documents, engineering drawings, or jigs or uh, fixtures or measurement instruments like vernier calipers okay uh, those kind of things so let's say you want to measure something so that measurement instruments okay any spanner let's say you you use a spanner during production that spanner also considered as a prt okay the prt must be identified by a material master or equipment master or a PRT master and the PRT category can be changed if required that we will see it in the system okay so this is what so first you create PRT you create PRT and then this PRT you will be assigning to the operation in the routing so already we have covered routing topics so in the routing you will have operations for those operations you will be assigning the PRT production resource tools okay okay so production resource tools can be assigned to operations or activities or phase phases in task list so but we will be covering in the routing and also you can uh, you can assign these prts directly in the production orders or even in the plan maintenance module you can assign to maintenance orders as well that is also possible okay so basically, uh, be, uh, before creating the PRTs, let's understand PRT category. Okay. So we have four types of PRT categories. The system differentiates between the following types of PRTs according to their properties and business functions. So you can create a material PRT, equipment PRT, okay, and a document PRT, or even sometimes miscellaneous PRT. Okay. But the most widely used is a material PRT. The material PRT has its own material master record with the view PRT. This I will show it in the system. We will be creating the material PRT. A material PRT can be procured. So normally, let's say you want a uh, spanner, you need to purchase it right first. So it can be procured. That is, it can either be purchased or produced. Both, both can happen. 
you can also keep it in stock and track both its value and quantity so basically uh, once you create it as a material prt you can create you can keep inventory for that that is also possible so what we will do we will first create a material prt okay so let's go to the system So, uh, material PRT as usual, the T code is MM01. Okay, create material industry sector. Let me select beverage only. Okay, material type. Only thing is here you have to use a different material type. The material type is this one, FHMI. Production resource or tool. Standard SAP has provided a one material type which is called FHMI. Select this material type. Click on select views. Okay, as usual, you need to select views. Okay, it is but you can purchase it right so i'll select purchasing view and also here work scheduling view is not required we are not going to produce it okay and you see here there is a uh, view called prts production resource tool so you need to activate this view also okay and then accounting one and two then continue we are using the plant triple zero one continue okay so i will create a prt called uh, caliber gauge you might be knowing this during production you want to measure something let's say i'm producing tablets okay i'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm working in a pharma a pharma industry so i'm producing tablets so during the production i want to check the tablet uh, what do you call thickness thickness so for that they will be using this caliber gauge so this, this is a prt it's not consumed only during production you will use it that's all so this I will create as a uh, uh, what do you call PRT. So I'll put the description caliper each. Okay, so this I'm creating. Okay, enter the base unit of measure, material group. Okay, I'm not activating any batch management. Done MRP type. Scheduling margin key. Okay, I'll put it as procurement type EF. Okay. Then, then, then. And data storage one view. Nothing is mandatory here. Now you have the PRT view. So here you need to maintain the data. So what you need to maintain here is PRT usage, where it can be used, in which task list okay so we already covered our task list what are our task list routings okay we so far we have covered routings okay and then we covered uh, as of now we covered routings only the remaining things we will be covering when we go to the process manufacturing and uh, repetitive manufacturing so but let's say i'll just put it in routing so these prts can only be assigned in the